Somebody bleached their skin. Isn't melanin already strong? Yeah. But they had to bleach it to make it do what? Turn so weak turn. so they can be lighter. Yeah. So don't you think that same process happened with your hair? Yes. You may be right. I just like I ain't, it. It ain't no baby. God is right. Now, y'all will walk by like two or three times. Did y'all hear what y'all nationality is? Did you hear that we should not be buying and selling on the Sabbath day? Did y'all hear that? You did. Mm -hmm. So you heard it and you still went and bought. Mm -hmm. No, understood, but even the Bible shows that God knows we're going to be hungry, but he says, bake what you're going to bake before the Sabbath. Cook what you're going to cook before the Sabbath, because on the Sabbath you should be resting. As a princess, God trying to preserve some time for you to relax. Get yourself together. Love yourself. You understand that? But because we hate ourselves so much and hate God's instructions, we just blatantly disobedient. That we become disobedient. Would you agree? And now, it's not just one person or two people. We got a whole nation full of people who are blatantly disobedient from their source of power. God, right? Now watch this. Got a question. What's your name? My name is Beyonce. Beyonce. Thank you. <laughs> She's been a long time answer, right? What's your name? Kalia. Kalia. Come here for a second, just real quick. Y'all don't walk by here two, three times, so at least y'all can do it. Is come up here, look at these signs, and find out your God given name. Okay? Now, in slavery, my, my sister, did you find your God given name? Just two more minutes. Come here for a second so you can find your God given name. Names found in the Bible. So that when you read the Bible, you actually see yourself in it. Right. This is what we're called in slavery. Slave names, right? Names of poverty, names of degradation, right? Come up. But this is what God calls you from the beginning. Right. What's your name? No. I mean Judah. Judah. Now you got it. You got it. You with me. What's your name? According to God. If this is what you were called here in slavery, this is your God given name. Judah, what you say? Judah. Judah. All right, good. Now, that means God's praise. Right. What does black mean? Bring it out. Holy, dead. That's what black means. Holy, dead. Without understanding. Right. Right? And aren't we just that dead as a people? No understanding of God. Israelite. That's right. You are an Israelite. That's right. That. Now, what makes Israelites so special is God's laws that were given to us to make us different. Right. right. So I want Leviticus 13. This is one of God's laws that was given to us that we're now breaking. Bring it out. Understand. This is, you say this is your niece. She live in your house with you? No. She come over to your house. Right? Now, you got rules in your house, right? And if she breaks them, right? Kick her out. That's right. right. Now, as God's children, <laughs> when we disobey his rules, what will he do to us? Forgive us. He will? <laughs> he will? Go yeah. watch this. This is one of our punishments for breaking God's law. Or breaking many God's law. Buying and selling on the Sabbath day, being influenced by the other nations, God 
whooped our behind by putting us in other people's care who didn't care nothing about us. Right. You understand? So watch this. Let's, let's, I'm going to show you a law that we're, constantly, we're still breaking, right? The book of Leviticus, chapter 13, verse 30. Then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in the sight deeper than the skin. So a plague. What is a plague? Y'all have heard of a plague. They say coronavirus was a plague. A COVID-19 was a plague. But a plague is a sickness, disease, right? So when a priest sees a sickness upon someone, right? It's clear to see. Read on. The priest shall see the plague. And behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, uh -huh. and there be a yellow thin hair, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. So what do we call yellow hair? Yeah. Or what's the new color that everybody is yellow? Or what do they call it? Bring it out. Yep. Yeah. Now, now I'm looking at your hair. What color is that? Blonde. 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 So the new terminology of yellow and thin hair is actually called blonde. Now, watch this. Before you, because that's actually very, uh, very dark for blonde hair. But what did you have to do to your natural dark black hair? What did you have to do? You had to bleach it. Now, in the process of bleaching your hair, did your hair get stronger or weaker? Honestly, now with being on the natural, it's gotten stronger. But you had to do that process of bleaching it, which made it weaker. If somebody bleached their skin, isn't melanin already strong? But they had to bleach it to make it do what? Turn weak so they can be lighter. Yeah. So don't you think that same process happened with your hair? Yes. You may be right. I just like I ain't, it. It ain't no maybe. God is right. Ain't no maybe to it. So what happens is when other nations look at you, I love you, my sister. And, and you and you didn't you didn't know this before today. But at the same time, when other nations look at you as my sister, they see me as a weak man. Bring it out. Because I haven't corrected you yet. Right. And don't we have a nation full of weak, docile men? That came from slavery, right? So what the Bible is doing is reversing all the things that we've learned in slavery so that we can get our nation together. You understand that? So when you do that, sis, you're showing that as a woman, you're still under the guise of white Jesus. Bring it out. Ain't his hair blonde is about that same color. And you know, I, I, women want to date him and love Jesus. him and you know, have his babies, this, that, and the third. Right. Now watch this. Are you exempt from that? No, you're not. Because watch this. I know you got the yakky B with the orange color in your hair. Bring it what out. does that do to our spirit as a people? When you put that orange hair in, get first Timothy 2 and 9. When you put that orange hair in your head, what was the purpose of it? You know? You want to be out of the box. You really not out of the box. You're just following the new trend. Yeah, what? Not really. Not really. Huh? So you follow the trend and then you try no. to. No, no. Hold on. Hold on. But a lot of times we are trying to defend ourselves when all we got to do is just understand what we fall and pray to. Right. Right. You understand? That? And I think that that's it. Ain't no thing to it. A lot of our younger generation is trying to defend their ignorance. Teach. You understand? You're doing it in your generation. You say, you know what, dang, I ain't even realized I was wrong for blinding my hair. Teach. Your generation, whether it be natural or fake hair that they put in, they're still following that same trend. It's just following it in another way. Right. They're still in our ignorance. You understand right. that? Now, what does God have to say about it? First Timothy 2 and 9. Read. The book of First Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. Read out. In like manner also. In like manner also. Read. That women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Modest apparel. The way that you present yourself, the clothing. As women, y'all are not modest. Why? You got on pants. Teach. That's what men wear. Teach. Most of our women, so hold on. So we're not supposed to wear pants? No, you're so supposed, supposed to wear a dress. Right. No, that's your opinion. No, no, that's God's opinion. Right. That's God's, 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 now watch this. But I guarantee you, you'll never see nothing me hanging out. No, what I'm saying yeah, is, yeah. What, now, listen. You did. Now, uh, uh, watch this. Are you despising me, or are you despising God? Bring it well, out. Actually, to be honest with you, it's you because you're the one speaking to me. God okay.
This shit is family. This shit is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with 